stuff sometimes. Uh, and if uh, you get it through bullet games, I think it's pretty innocent. From all the substances you can take and uh, do, I think that's very innocent. So I, and he felt horrible and his confidence was low. And sometimes- But he also lost the match, yeah? He didn't even win. He, he didn't boost his confidence. Yeah, but he, he tried to, he tried to. Okay, so, he also tried in the tournament, but he did some success too. Yeah, but the how to boost confidence by playing some amateur that you anyway beat 100 0? Sure. Okay, the, no, but it doesn't boost your confidence. That's fake. The boost your confidence is something that you accomplish that is not obvious that you accomplish. So, beating potentially beating Naradiski would boost your confidence. But of course, you have to expose yourself then to not, you know, you expose yourself a bit. But I mean to say that honestly, from things people have done, uh, I think it's very innocent to play relatively innocent. Like, I still wouldn't do it, but that's me. But some people do worse things. But it's the fact that he somehow, um, yeah, the way he did it, you know, and everybody saw it and uh, that kind of sent some kind of message. And then he exposed himself to us talking about it here. And it's his own fault. He could have gone anonymously if he wanted. Yeah. You can send on just a link, you know, you can go, you don't even have to log in. You can just send the link to friend and you can play. It's fantastic. I sometimes do it if I want to play very anonymous. I send the link to friend and we play on two anonymous. Nobody sees these games. I have an anonymous account. It's called Guybrush Spielgut. <laughs> Mm. So, 